What is going on you guys? Andrew Roboto here and welcome back to Five Nights at Nowhere where we will be taking on night five in this video. Now I apologize I didn't upload this yesterday just because I was a Celtics game, so yeah. So I've definitely been busy a couple times right. So without further ado, we will start night five as soon as I enter the password, which is NF5 as the password. Alright. Okay, so we're on the night five now. Which I'm checking the other, I'm gonna check the other cameras because um I don't know if we're dealing with any new threats or or we're just dealing the same cameras. Oh, Ness just left. Same with Lucas. Which means I gotta go check them on the camera. Well, that's because obviously they're gonna be more active this night. Because obviously as the as the nights progress, they become more active. Checking the door because they've moved, they're moving further down, so they should be out. Up, oh, Porky left, so I gotta close the door. I'm checking the cameras because they're more active. This <laughs> night, and I just got jump scared. God, I didn't get the chance to check on him. God. Alright, well, I'm checking the cameras more often this night because, well, they're going to be very active this night. Which is painfully obvious. I don't know if they'll be active now, but they were active when I first did this and then I just got killed. So I don't know if that's the mechanic or something, and they... I don't know if it's the mechanic when Lucas and Ness don't move after I die. I don't know. Maybe that is. And I'm checking on Porky, obviously. And as you saw, this thing just moved. When it moves down, that means um, Porky left and I have to go shut the door. Sorry, I'm drinking some, I'm drinking some root beer right now. Some Barks root beer I got from Domino's. <clears throat> it's one of my favorite sodas. Porky's actually a villain. I believe he's a villain in the Mother Series. I could be wrong, but... Oh, and he just moved. From what I know, Porky is a villain in Super Smash Bros. And, like, Brawl. Okay, how'd you, how did Porky go back to the camera after slamming on the door? Like, that's not how Foxy animatronic works. Like, with Foxy, like, he just goes back to the camera... At, he goes back to Pirate's Cove after a few seconds, like after he leaves when he bangs on your door. I don't know, that's crazy. <clears throat> yeah, I already have like half my power left and it's 3 a.m. Okay. Porky's out. Getting low on power, and it's only 4 a.m. What's interesting is that this definitely reminds me of Five Nights at Ronald's. And you want to know why? Because 
I end up I run out of power at 4 a.m. and find out to Ronald's on like night two, and guess what? I end up automatically I end up beating the night and making it to 6 a.m. Like it's crazy. Like I don't know how that happened. So it definitely reminds me of that game. God, I'm already low on power. Let's hope I don't die again, because I'm probably going to die again in this video. Okay, it's 5 a.m. And Porky's about to move, because that, because that, that, that diagram is going down, or whatever you call it. The statue meter, my bad. And I got like 6% left power. I have actually made it to 6 a.m. when I was really low on power. Like, there's been a couple games where I've actually done that. Okay, so let's check. And I'm at 3% of power left. Oh my god! Alright, I beat Night 5 with only 3% left of power. It's amazing. The end? Okay, what the hell was that? That, that literally threw me off. Okay, so I just entered the password and there is no Night 6 in this game. So, yeah, so there you have it. That is Five Nights at Nowhere for you. A very mysterious game. We're in the middle of nowhere. And, yeah, so that's the end of that game. I hope you enjoyed this series. Thank you for watching, everyone. Please hit the like button. Also, comment and subscribe. I appreciate all the support, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.